What makes an album cover great? Find out what the nine levels of heaven or hell are that it must pass through to reach its gates and walk on through to become forever an icon on this episode of Graphic Model. wanders the caves in loneliness with desperation to pass. <sighs> Circle one. Release. Something. Anything. Just release. Billions of people have not, nor ever will. So the fact that some do already puts them ahead. Remember, it's better to exist than to not. The art is endlessly blown and spiraling in the winds of a, in a violent storm. Circle 2. Alert. Above all, it must get our attention. It used to be competing for attention amongst thousands in a record store. Now it has compounded to billions on our devices over the internet. But nothing has changed how important this first step is. It is, however, worth noting that this is actually the easiest level to achieve. After all, we are human, and we love to react to everything. Heck, just one block of color, nothing else, will do the trick. I guess nothing else really does matter, huh? Because of their cold nature, the art suffers the coldness of a ceaseless icy rain. Circle 3. Stimulate. Will it evoke an emotion? Remember, we established that we are sensitive creatures. So again, not hard to accomplish. I assure you, you put a baby hanging from a clothesline, let alone many, we will react. It's called shock art for a reason. But the right emotion will strengthen the bridge between it and us, allowing us to remember and associate it with a memory, an image, or a feeling, making it feel more real to us. So remember, all of us weep. These first three circles, just about anyone can pull off. Even our own child, with the first drawing they scribble on a napkin with crayons, can be hung up on a refrigerator. But now, it starts to get tougher. The art's greed consumes them in a pit of smelting gold as they try to ex escape. Circle 4. Speak. Can it effectively communicate with purpose, accidental or not? Great art doesn't just throw random things on the paper. And even if it is just to capture steps one through three, directly or indirectly, the job of the art cover is to tell us what it is, why we should care, and maybe even buy it. So say anything. We might listen. This is generally the first key differentiator. The more effective and faster it is at communicating, the more advantage it will have. 
and speaking of differentiation. An endless battle of wailing art takes place on a murky swamp. Circle 5. Alter. Can you evoke the feeling like I've never seen this before? The more you can distance yourself from the others, the more powerful our association to it becomes. Great covers trigger you to associate their brand with just an element, even when that element is being shown on something else entirely. Talk about value. Remember, don't be wallpaper. But communication and differentiation can still quite frankly be random or accidental. What about the actual message and visual theme it is telling us? The art is entrapped in a flaming pit, guarded by demons for those daring to escape. Circle 6. Can it make you see, feel, hear, or even smell? The more senses it triggers in you to respond with, the more likely it can transport your mind, body, and spirit out of your world and into theirs. Just like acid, it can be like an out-of-body experience. That's when art and music in harmony shows its teeth and can unite many of us to come together and become faithful followers, aka die-hard fans. Remember, your brand is everything, so be you. The art is drawn in a lake of boiling blood, blood for their aggressive behavior. Circle 7. Entice. Be bold. If it can make a statement with confidence, the message can reach and resonate not just with your fan base, but with outsiders too. As if it were a symbol or beacon. Now that's power. Side note, this is why covers that reach this level and beyond don't have the band name or title on its cover. If it does, it is integrated seamlessly or at least not disruptive to the message. Because if you can reach this level without it, it evokes confidence. And we all know how we respond to anyone with that level of confidence. The challenge, though, oftentimes, is convincing your record label to be on board with it. Up to this point, all the levels can be reached by most willing to put in the effort. But here, at the gates, we no longer are in control. The art is thrown into a pit of darkness and left to wait. Circle 8. Rest. Here at the gates, we simply wait patiently to find out over time, will I stay or will I go? Makes sense, right? After all, we are extremely reactionary. We can instantly go from hot to cold with a blink of an eye. But what really matters, how it holds up over time. So nothing to do now but rest. Awake, my child. Your time has come. Come inside. The art is imprisoned in ice, 
displayed as a trophy forever. Circle nine, celebrate and be proud. You pass through all circles and the challenges that you face along the way. I think we all can agree, you earn this. Congrats, forever is now yours. You've become an icon. What a journey. And now that we know what it takes, let's get to what are our picks for the best album cover designs of all time for rock, metal, and extreme metal. Hope this was either educational or entertaining. A thank you to user underscore ravendark underscore one who posted the desire of wanting to know what my top 10 favorite album covers were. This prompted the rabbit hole, an inevitable decision for us to bring back the Art of Metal project, a topic, among other things, that we used to do uh, as a local monthly magazine distribution from 2008 to 2012. This way, we can celebrate many of them. After, we will update the original and republish them as books, so this way, you all can feel the history, inspiration, and power of music and art together in harmony in the palm of your hands. It's powerful stuff. Next, we will reveal our picks for the best album covers of all time. Remember to like, hit the subscribe button, and share. In the meantime, here are some of our other videos for you to check out. I'm Veer Von Wright. You've been watching Graphic Battle. Until the next time, cheers and keep on rocking.